हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ चेतना बोर से यूर मैथ्स टीचर स्टूडेंट्स अवर टू डेज थॉट इज द कैपेसिटी टू लर्न इज अ गिफ्ट द एबिलिटी टू लर्न इज अ स्किल द विलिंगनेस टू लर्न इज अ चॉइस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम एम सी क्यूज फर्स्ट एम सी क्यू इज द एस्टिमेटेड वैल्यू ऑफ उटरेस्ट of these two numbers c what is first we will find out the nearest to tens to uh, this numbers okay so 1987 is there means which is the nearest tens it is 90 okay plus 5248 means what it will become 50 okay so 0 plus 0 is 0 9 plus 5 Fourteen one carry four. Nine plus one is ten. Ten plus two is twelve, and this is seven. Where is the option C? Seven thousand two hundred forty means our answer is B. Seven thousand two hundred forty. Okay. Now see the next. How many likes are there in a million? See how we write million. in this way okay now what is the question how many likes are there in a million 1 10 100 or 1000 see how can we write this see ones this is tens hundreds thousand 10000 this is lakh and this is 10 lakh Okay, so what is the question? How many likes are there? See, where is the likes here? So our option uh, answer is B, ten. Okay, how many likes are there? Ten likes in a million. Okay. The next forty-five thousand seven hundred eighty-nine is bigger than which of the following numbers? See, some options are given here. Okay, now we have to compare this number. to this numbers okay so what is given here 45789 first count the number of digits 5 here number of digits 6 so obviously this number will be greater number okay now see b five digit this is also five digit number okay so we start from 10000s place 4 5 see 5 is greater than 4 so obviously this number will be greater number Now check C, forty six thousand seven hundred eighty nine. Five digits here also five digits. So C the ten thousands place four four same. Okay, so we will take the thousands place five six six is greater. Okay, so forty six thousand seven hundred eighty nine will be greater number. Now last option is D, forty five thousand six hundred eighty nine. Number of digits are same. Okay, so see the ten thousands place four four five five seven six. Which way number will, is greater? See this one. So forty five thousand seven hundred eighty nine is bigger than this number. So our option is D is the answer. Okay, now see the next. Which of the following is valid Roman number? Okay, see the options. Here four times I is given. Okay, we can't repeat I more than three times. Okay, so A is a invalid Roman number. B, we can't repeat V. So B is not the option uh, right answer. C, X X X means what? Ten plus ten plus ten is thirty. Okay, so this is the right. Again check D L L. We can't repeat. L. So D is also not the correct answer. So our answer is C. Okay.
थाउजेंड माइनस यस इट्स एट थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड माइनस एट थाउजेंड आंसर इज टू थाउजेंड ओके विच इज स्मॉलर देन फोर थाउजेंड सो वी कैन टेक डी सो अवर आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए ओके विच नंबर मेक्स दिस सेंटेंस ट्रू फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड फोर्टी टू प्लस फिफ्टी थ्री थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड फोर्टीन इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी थ्री थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड थर्टीन प्लस डैश सी वॉट इज गिवन हियर ए बी सी डी सम नंबर आर गिवन ओके नाउ हियर वी है From that we can say that both the sides are equal. First, do the addition of these two numbers. Forty-five thousand two hundred forty-two plus fifty-three thousand one one four. Six five three eight and this is nine. Okay, ninety-eight thousand three hundred fifty-six. Okay, now check it for a. Suppose fifty-three. Thousand one hundred thirteen plus forty five thousand two hundred forty two. Three plus two is five. One plus four five. This is three. Three plus five is eight, and five plus four is nine. See, check. These two numbers are equal. No, means we can't take this a. Now check it for b. Fifty three thousand one hundred thirteen plus forty five thousand two hundred forty. Three plus three six. One plus four five. One plus two is three. Eight and this is nine. Now check these two answers. Ninety eight thousand three hundred fifty six. Ninety eight thousand three hundred fifty six. So our answer is B. Suppose we check for C and D. We are if we do the addition of these two numbers, it will be greater than addition of this number. Okay. So our option uh, answer is option B. Okay. Now see this MCQ. Which number makes this sentence true? Okay. Here subtraction is given, and what they tell if we subtract. Any number from this, these two answers will be same. Okay, so first we will do this subtraction: fifty-four thousand five hundred twenty-three minus twenty-three thousand four hundred fifty-six. Okay, now do the subtraction: thirty minus six is not three minus six not possible. So we will take borrow thirty minus six seven one minus five not possible. So we'll take borrow. Eleven minus five is six. Four minus four zero. Four minus three is one, and five minus two is three. What will be the answer? Thirty one thousand sixty seven. Okay. Now, which number we will subtract from this? From that we will get the same answer. Okay. So check for a. Twenty three thousand four hundred fifty six minus. Fifty four thousand five hundred twenty three. See students, is it possible? No. Why? Because here two and five. Twenty three thousand fifty four thousand. This is greater number. So we can't subtract this number from this. Okay. C W twenty three thousand twenty three thousand four hundred fifty six minus same number. What will be the answer? Zero. Okay. So is it equals to this number? No. So B option is also not the correct option. Okay. See this thirty one thousand sixty seven. Again, see twenty three is small number and thirty one thousand it is greater. So C option is also not the answer. Means what is remaining? D. None of these. So our option is D. None of these. Okay. Next E. Four hundred fifty-six multiplied by two hundred thirty-four equals to four hundred fifty-six multiplied by dash plus four hundred fifty-six multiplied by thirty plus four hundred fifty-six multiplied by four. The number in the blank is which number will come? Hundred twenty-three, two hundred, or thirty-four. See what is given here. 
In multiplication, what we have seen? 456 multiplied by. See, we start from 4. Means 456 multiplied by 4. Which is given here. In next step, multi, uh, 456 multiplied by 30. Okay. Tens because it is in on tens place. Okay. Now what will come here? 456 multiplied by hundreds place. So 200. Okay. So what, we, what is our answer? Option C. 200. Okay. Now next is 456 multiplied by 10 lakh is. See as we know. The multi, uh, multiplication property, whenever we multiply any number by 10 lakh, what we have to do? Just be, uh, after that number, how many zeros we have to put? 6 zeros. Okay. So, see, where are the 6 zeros? Here only 2, 4, 5 and here 6. Okay. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, what will be the answer? 45 crore 60 lakh. Okay, so our option answer is option D. Okay, see the next 98,976,998 multiply by 0. See, as we know, whenever we multiply any number by 0, what will be the answer? Yes, it's 0. Okay, so our answer is option C, 0. Okay. Now see the next MCQ. 46,90,783 is divided by 1000. will give remainder. What will remainder? See. We divide it by 1000. Okay. How many zeros? 3 zeros. Means what? From once we have to see 3 digits. Once tens and hundreds. Why? Because thousand is there. This will become reminder and remaining will be quotient. So what will be the answer? 783. Okay. C. Option D is the correct answer. Okay. Now next. 0 divided by 9,87,098 will give. C. Whenever we divide 0 by any number, what will be the answer? 0. Okay. Now, next, if 86 multiplied by 69 equals to 5934, which of the following is true? See, this is multiplication fact. From this, can we write the division fact? Yes. How? See, first we will check the options. See, 86 divided by 69 equals to 5934. Is it possible? No. Because multiplication of these two numbers is this number. Then how it is possible? Okay. Now A is not the correct answer. Now C the B. 69 divided by 86 equals to 5934. Is it possible? No. Okay. Now C. 5934 divided by 86 equals to 69. Is this a... Division fact? Yes. So, option C is the correct answer. See the D also. Is it possible? 5934 multiplied by 86 equals to 69? No. Means our answer is C. This. Okay. Now see this MCQ. Given the cost of 5 pence as rupees 100, we can find the cost of 7 pence by... Means cost of 5 pence is given rupees 100. From that we have to find out the cost of 7 pence. For this which method we have to use? Yes, unitary method. Okay. In that for calculating the cost of 1 pence we have to divide 100 by number of pence. Means 100 divided by 5. What will be the answer? Whatever answer will come. That, is, that will be the cost of one pen. Okay. From one pen, cost of one pen, can we find the cost of seven pens? Yes. By how much? Multiplied by seven. 
Okay. So where, uh, where is this option? Option D. It is our answer. Okay, students. In homework, MCQs, page number 20, 35, 45, 59, solve in textbook. And from exercise 4.8, question B, solve the story sums, first, third, fifth, sixth and ninth in notebook. Thank you.